Hi, boys and girls. I wanted to show you how to do the extra credit project. Um, it's all about your vocabulary. So what you see on this slide is ocean, mountain, hill, plateau, valley, island, river, and peninsula. What I want you to do is choose one landform for each slide below. So you have this one and this one and this one, and you have seven all together. Insert an image of the landform. Let me get out of here so you can see what I'm talking about. Insert an image of the landform and write the definition for each in the box provided. You can use, this is the important part, you can use worksheet number five to help you. You already use the definitions in worksheet number five. So let's use that with your extra credit project. You can find worksheet number five in your drive. You just have to go to apps, slides, and worksheet number five. I'll show you how to do that. Watch. You're going to come up here to a new tab by hitting the plus sign. Then you're going to go to the Google Waffle and down to slides. And then you're going to look for, and it's probably over here somewhere, you're going to look for worksheet number five. Yep, I was right. Right here, worksheet number five, vocabulary. I knew it was going to be close because we just worked on it. So I'm going to click it. Now I have two tabs I need. I need this extra credit project one, and I need this one, and I need this one, and I need this one. We're going to go back and forth. Okay, so how do we get started? Go down to slide number two. On the side, it says, be sure the image fits in the box. Well, I'm going to decide to do, I'm going to do peninsula for you guys, okay? So let's go to number two. So first thing I do is find a picture and I'll put it in this box. So I'm going to insert image and I'm going to find it from the web. I'm going to go out into the internet and look. And usually I put peninsula. Usually I put clip art, but boys and girls, you don't have to. You can use real pictures this time. And in it, I'm going to find the best picture I like. Now, they come up with some pretty good ones at first. You can certainly scroll for as long as you want, but eh, sometimes Mrs. Weinberger thinks that's a waste of time. So you're just going to find the very best one that you can. And I kind of like this one. Do you like that one? Let's see. Oh, that's a neat one too. All right, I'm going to go with this one. You can either click and down below it'll say insert or you can just drag it over and I'm going to drag it over. Okay, if a red button says pops up and says dismiss, you can't use this one, just go find another one. No biggie. And then make it nice and small. Bring it down. Make it a little bit smaller so it fits. And then it's up to you if you want, you can stretch it to fit the entire box or you just can leave a nice small picture like that. It's up to you. Okie dokie. Now down here, it says type the word in the box, the first one. So capital P-E-N-I-N-S-U-L-A. And then I'm going to type the definition. And I say to myself, hmm, what's the definition? Oh yeah, I went and did it already. It's not on this first page. It's not on the second page. Let me scroll down a little bit. Oh, I think I see it. Peninsula. And I happen to know that a peninsula is a body of land that is surrounded by water on three sides. So a body of land that is surrounded by water on three sides. I don't need a period because it's just a definition. All right, my friends. And then you're going to go ahead, pick another word, click in here. Let's say you're doing ocean. You take this out and type ocean. And then you go ahead and find another picture that you want to put in the box. Definition, use worksheet number five and have a good time doing it. All right, if you have any questions, you ask your teacher or you can always email Mrs. Weinberger. I'd love to help you out. All right, bye boys and girls.